Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 023 underscore BIAB underscore N. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save as. Click project. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this project to 00 underscore 024 underscore BIAB underscore M and click the save button. In the last tutorial, we edit the face of this roof so that it can meet the with this other roof. To get a better understanding of what I'm trying to explain, I'm going to select this roof and hold down the control key and select this roof. Click the temporal hide isolate button and select isolate element. Revit temporarily hide all the other objects except uh, the object that you select. Click the modify button to deselect the roof. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. As you can see, the roof, this roof cross this other roof. But with this roof, we edit the face of the roof with the... But if we try for, to do the same thing with this one, it's very difficult to get this look. So we're going to use another method to accomplish the same result. Now go to the architectural tab, opening panel and select the opening by face command. Zoom in into this area and click on th this face. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Pick the reach, this reach and this reach. Hold the mouse cursor to orbit. Pick the edge of this other roof and this roof. Select the trim extend to corner. Trim this sketch line and this sketch line. Click the green check mark to finish. Revit remove the, the portion, that portion of the roof. Go to the architectural tab, opening panel and select opening by face. Select this face and select the peak line button. Select the ridge of this roof and the ridge of this roof. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button. Pick the edge of this roof and click the edge of this roof. Go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line, this sketch line, this, this, this sketch line and this sketch line. Click the green check mark. With the sketch line C selected, select grid similar and hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Pick this face. Select the pick line command. Pick this reach and this reach. Move the mouse, hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Pick the edge of this roof. Pick the edge of this roof. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line and this sketch line, this sketch line to clean up this area. Clean the green check mark. Now we have some more job to do down here. Click the edit sketch again. Select this sketch line and nudge it down with the down arrow. Click the green check mark. Edit. Select. Click the down arrow twice and click the green check mark. It's gone. With the sketch line still selected, select the grid similar and pick this face. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Select the ridge of this roof and the ridge of this roof. Pick the edge of this roof and the edge of this roof. Select trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line and this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line, this, this sketch line. Click the modify button. Select this sketch line and hit delete on your keyboard. Click the green check mark to end the command. Now hold down the shift key and look at the bottom of the roof. The roof is being cleaned up nicely. Just as I was saying, no matter how complex your roof may be, if you take your time and divide the roof into different different areas, you model the roof by segment. After that, you try to link them up. You can design whatever complex roof you want to design in Revit. All right, I'm going to stop this tutorial here. Click these sunglasses and click reset temporal hide isolate. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Type ZF on your keyboard to zoom to fit and go to the quick access toolbar and click the save command. I'm going to 
stop this video here in the next tutorial we're going to continue to model our roof if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye